Speak up English, the key to success. Hey Emma. You know, I was thinking about something interesting today. Joint families versus single families, they're like the yin and yang of family life, don't you think? Oh, absolutely, Sam. It's like comparing a bustling circus with a solo tightro pact. But let's dive in. What's your take on joint families? Well, joint families are like a box of assorted chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. But there's a sense of togetherness that's hard to beat. Ha! Huh, Forrest Gump reference. I love it. But you're right, there's something beautiful. About generations living under one roof. It's like having built in friends and mentors. Exactly. Plus, there's always someone around to share the chores. No need to worry about washing dishes alone. Ha, huh, that's a win for sure. But you know, it can also be like living in a glass house with no privacy. True, your every move is under the spotlight. Forget secret midnight snacking. So, what about single families, Emma? It's like a one-person show, right? Oh, absolutely. It's like being the solo star of your own sitcom. You have all the privacy in the world, but sometimes, you just want someone to share the stage with. Huh, I get that. And single families can be super efficient, right? It's like you're the captain of your own ship, making all the decisions. True, you're the CEO of your household. But on the flip side, it can get lonely sometimes, especially during the holidays. Ah, the holiday blues. That's where joint families shine, with their big. Festive celebrations. It's like a constant party at home. Ha, huh, you're right. And there's this diverse blend of personalities in joint families. It's like having your own reality show 24-7. Oh, absolutely. Drama, comedy, and sometimes a touch of suspense, it's all there. But single families have their charm too. It's like having a cozy, quiet haven. True. It's the perfect environment for introverts. But, Sam, have you noticed how joint families can be like a support system during tough times? Absolutely, Emma. When the going gets tough, they're like a safety net, always there to catch you. But single families can build incredible resilience too. Oh, definitely. It's like being the protagonist in a survival story. You learn to rely on yourself and become fiercely independent. And hey, joint families are like a treasure trove of family traditions and stories. It's like having a history book come to life. So true. It's like a continuous journey through time. But single families can start their own traditions and create their unique stories too. That's a great point, Emma. It's like writing your own book from scratch. But hey, speaking of stories, have you ever been caught in a joint family's epic saga of matchmaking? Ha, oh, the matchmaking chronicles. I've heard tales that rival Shakespearean dramas. It's like everyone's a relationship expert. Huh, so true. But you know, in single families, you're the master of your love life. No need to consult the family council. Ha, huh, it's like having full control over your romantic destiny. But Sam, in the end, whether it's a joint family or a single family, it's all about the love, right? Absolutely, Emma. Family is family, no matter the size or shape. 
And it's the love and bonds that truly matter. Well said, Sam. Family is where the heart is. So, what's your final verdict, joint or single? You know what, Emma? I think both have their unique charm. It depends on the script of your life and who you want to share it with. I couldn't agree more, Sam. It's all about finding your own happy ending, whether in a joint family tale or a single family story. Part 2 Hey Emma, ready to explore the dynamics and challenges of joint and single families? Absolutely, Sam. It's like delving into the intricate plot twists of family life. Let's start with joint families. What's the biggest challenge you think they face? Well, Emma, I'd say it's the delicate art of balancing individuality with togetherness. It's like trying to harmonize a choir with different voices. Ha, huh, I like that analogy, Sam. And, you know, there's often this unspoken. Competition for attention in joint families. It's like a talent show with no winner. Huh, so true. Everyone wants their moment in the spotlight. But, Emma, what about single families? What do you think is their most common challenge? Well, Sam, it's often the juggling act of being both the breadwinner and the emotional. Anchor. It's like playing the lead roles in a one-person play. That's a great point, Emma. Single parents are like superheroes, managing it all. But, speaking of superheroes, joint families sometimes have this. Too many cooks in the kitchen problem, don't they? Ha, huh, exactly, Sam. It's like having a dozen chefs and only one dish to cook. Everyone wants to add their special ingredient. Ha, huh, and sometimes, that dish ends up being a bit too complex. But, Emma, in single families, there's often a challenge in finding a balance between work and family. It's like walking a tightrope between career and caregiving. Absolutely, Sam. Single parents often have to be master multitaskers. It's like they have a dual role in life, career professional by day and super parent by night. Well said, Emma. And let's not forget the financial aspect. In single families, there's often a heavier burden on one income. That's true, Sam. Budgeting and financial planning become critical skills. It's like they're managing a household with precision, like a CEO. Huh, a household CEO, I like that. But, Emma, joint families can sometimes face generational clashes. It's like trying to bridge the gap between tradition and modernity. Oh, you hit the nail on the head, Sam. It's like a tug of war between old and new. Values and communication becomes key in resolving those clashes. Absolutely, Emma. Open and respectful communication is like the magic wand that can help ease those tensions. But, you know, both family setups have their moments of pure joy, don't they? They absolutely do, Sam. In joint families, it's those big. Laughter-filled gatherings and the feeling of belonging to a big, loving clan. And in single families, it's those cozy, intimate moments when you're the star of your own show, like a cherished solo performance. Well put, Sam. In the end, family is what we make of it, whether it's a joint venture or a solo act. Absolutely, Emma. It's about the love, the connections, and the memories we create together.
And both setups have their unique beauty. Well, Sam, I think we've done a thorough exploration of the joint versus single family dynamic. What's your takeaway from our discussion? You know what, Emma? I've learned that there's no one size fits all answer. Family is about what works best for each individual. And both setups have their strengths and challenges. I couldn't agree more, Sam. It's about finding your own path and creating a loving, supportive environment, no matter the family style. Well said, Emma. Family is where the heart is. So, whether you're in a joint family tale or a single family story, it's all about the love and bonds that truly matter.